Hey everyone, it is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to Ray J. You know, Shannon Sharp is doing his thing on his YouTube channel called Club Shay Shay, his podcast. Everybody and anybody is stopping over there, sitting on that couch, and telling Shannon Sharp their darkest secrets, and everything else that he wants to know. Well, Ray J is quoted as saying that, you know, the world would be different if it wasn't for him. He felt like he changed the world with that sex tape between him and Kim Kardashian. He said it probably wouldn't be an OnlyFans and many other things if he had never done the sex tape. We're going to go ahead and get right into the story. So Ray J thinks he changed the world with Kim Kardashian's sex tape. And that's interesting. The infamous sex tape that sparked Kim Kardashian's popularity has had a humongous effect on, on our culture and may have paved the way for OnlyFans, according to her ex, Ray J. In a new interview on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay podcast, Ray J addressed the, um, the tape's impact, suggesting that everything would be different if the tape had never come out. There might not be an OnlyFans, he said. More people will be going to college and getting an education and be successful. Ray J and Kardashian started dating in 2003 when she was 23 years old and filmed the sex tape that year. However, the tape didn't see the light of day until 2007, a year after their breakup, when it was released by a corn company. Y'all know what word I really mean. The tape, which Ray J has since claimed, was leaked on purpose by Kardashian and her mom, Kris Jenner, Put the, put the thin budding socialite and the rest of her family in the spotlight. Capitalizing on the moment, the tape leak was used as one of the first storylines on keeping up with the Kardashians, pushing the reality show to popularity and cementing the family name in pop culture. Though Kardashian would later sue the company that released it, which only brought more attention to the tape, ultimately the Kardashians were ushering the beginning of an would usher in the beginning of influencer culture and the start of new norm where one could be famous for no reason. Ray J Celeste suggested to Sharp that his and Kardashian sex tape made it all possible and also opened up opportunities for more people to make money from sexual content. How different would the industry be if the tape hadn't come out, Ray J said in an interview. Everything would be different. We all would be different. Asked if he was ever embarrassed when the tape came out, Ray J paused for a long while, but before finally answering, yeah, I have kids in the household. He added, and he added, are we part of the cure? Are we part of the disease? I don't effing know. Mm. So I think I could play this little clip right here. Let's watch a little bit of it. How different? Is that family or that family is that family life? You know, I think more of the question is how different would we all be? How different would this whole fucking thing be? How different would the industry be? How different would the wheel roll? <laughs> Everything would be different. We would all be different. All of us. Everybody in here would be different. We'll have on different clothes. We'll what you mean? Everything would be different, meaning like you would never ask me that question meaning if we sat here right now right. and we got to this point what like i don't know probably more people will be going to college and you know what i'm saying getting an education to be successful there might not be any only fans and other things like that mm -hmm. other, other okay. opportunities like that so i mean are we a part of the cure are we a part of the disease i don't fucking know all i know is i'm just trying to make it right were you ever embarrassed when the tape came out I have kids now, so when I have kids, yeah. And they go they, everything that we did now when I have kids is just totally different. The whole thing is wacky. Before I was just like, <laughs> uh, but with my kids, it's not okay. And so I can't without me going too far into it, without me getting in trouble. Um, yeah, I mean, no, nah, it's not it's not okay now. But I'm 43. 
with with a kid that's four and a kid that's six. My daughter's six, my son's four. And even though you're young and even in that young kid world, they'll all probably think it's fucking cool. Yeah. Until you have kids. Right. Right. What can you do? So either way, um, Ray J said the world will change. I would say, I'm going to say this. Um, the P word has existed for a very long time in this world. I can't say that would OnlyFans not be a thing if that sex tape didn't happen. I don't want to go as far to say that because, listen, reality TV is the newest wave. And I think as a spinoff of reality TV, is that kind of only fans because now on social media, almost on the Instagram, I, I don't do too many other platforms on such a high level as I do Instagram, but on these Instagram platforms, you can almost see um, what you're seeing to some extent. And when it's just the still pictures, um, you know, these Instagram models having on very, very little clothing. And I think OnlyFans is kind of an extension of that where now you can see just a little bit more. You don't have to be so curious. I can show you a little bit more if you go to my OnlyFans page and now you pay to see what I'm putting up versus you just browsing through my stuff for free, I would say. So anyway, guys, um, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Let me know your thoughts on Ray J saying that, you know, he helped change the world with this sex tape that he had with Kim Kardashian. I will say this, um, if he didn't change the world, he definitely helped change their lives in the sense that they blew up to become uber huge, like just out of this world. And although that might have been a stepping stone, you got to give it to the Kardashians, no matter how you like or don't like them. Shape, they took that stepping stone and they blew it up into a whole entire empire. So let me know your thoughts. Listen, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. I didn't realize he was 43. He seems like he um, has some level of maturity to him, but also seems like he's still struggling with some issues there. Um, internally, I don't know if the issues are based on decisions he's made throughout his life. It's, it was disheartening for me and heartbreaking for me to see that him and Princess couldn't make it. But if you followed his marriage with Princess, it was a roller coaster ride, at least according to her. And it seemed like he struggled with a lot of things. And he it seemed like he struggled with being faithful also. So chat with me, guys. I will chat back. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.